All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. And today we are going to be once again taking on the 2.3 Pure Fiction. Now, what we're going to do today is actually we're only going to be focusing on the second half because I already have a video up on my channel of me doing a full run of Pure Fiction and I am using this Akron dot team and I will be using the exact same team in this video. So instead, I decided to do two runs of the second half. Now, what we're trying to prove here today is that you very much do not need Jade if you want to clear Pure Fiction. So in our second half runs, the first one we're going to do is we're going to be doing a Zelo run alongside Herta and... Sorry, that's Pela, Herta and Himiko. And we're going to be doing this with no sustain. All we're going to be trying to do is killing the deer as quick as we can. And then literally on the second run, all we're going to be doing is replacing Zelo with Blade. So those are the runs we're going to be doing instead of using Jade. And I mean, this is the half which you would normally use Jade in because it has all the quantum weakness. But because it has quantum weakness, we can actually use Zela, And she will do quite a good job, I at least I think, considering Resurgence and her probably being able to one-shot stuff. And then Blade for the win weakness in the first half. And then just being able to tank some hits on the second half. So that our Herta and Himiko can survive for a bit longer to do enough damage. Now, since we're not going to be hitting over 30k on the first half, probably, we are going to need to hit over 30k on the uh, second half, which should prove to you that these teams, you know, get the job done. They're pretty good. So, uh, yeah, with that being said, let's just get right into it, starting off with the Zila run. All right, and here we are with our Zila. Now, we did actually manage to get 29k on the first half, which means we only need to get about... Uh, 31k here, but obviously we are going to be aiming for between like 32 to 35k. I think that's a safe amount. And okay, now obviously all we need to do here is just basic on our one may, and we will just alter straight away. So we have the slight um, extension on the turn. Okay, and now when it comes to obviously Himiko, we're just going to skill here. Lucky that will okay. It doesn't proc many hurters. Now I know these guys have ice res, but then again, Herta just does quite good damage on her skill anyway. So I am just going to use it. Uh, I would pr probably prioritize Herta's skill over Himiko's unless there is fire weakness. And okay, there we go. We get a night. We can just basic that guy and pop our skill here, which will allow our Herta to go. And we will also have a nice ult for our um, Zila. Okay, unfortunately, that thing only hits one person, which is. Very unfortunate for us, but you know what? It's not the end of the world. Now, luckily, we will be able to get another resurgence off of our ult there. Oh, okay, and this will just proc. What? Yeah, literally, you just get so many procs with this team. That's why I'm actually really looking forward to how we can do here. Um, since we're already in a resurgence, I don't think it is worth it to go again. Although, maybe because the wave's cleared, this will count as a regular turn instead of a resurgence turn. I am... Not too sure is the problem. Um, okay, you know what? I might as well basic this guy for a skill point. Oh, and that actually is an resurgence. Okay, so I might as well just take this guy out as well. And once again, this thing pops again, and so did Herta earlier. Um, now we do only have one turn left on our one May, so we will want to save a skill point for that. Ooh, I really don't like it when the trash can hits us. Luckily, he hasn't buffed himself up. But really what we want to do here is avoid taking as much damage as possible. So that when it comes to the deer, we can just absolutely annihilate him. Now the thing is, we do kind of want to save our Himiko ult here for as soon as the deer spawns. Which is now, luckily. And then obviously just because these guys have fire weakness, you want to take them out before they get their counters up. Otherwise they can deal a lot of damage to you. Uh, obviously, you know, Jade will be nice here because she is quantum so she can take them down But that's why we have Zila here because she will help us to take down the more annoying twigs Now I am just basicing there to make sure we have a skill point first of all for our Ruan Mei And second of all just because it will give us another proc for our Himiko anyway Now once again good thing about Zila we can just do that Okay, I do not want yeah, okay. Yeah, her just gonna take a few hits there dude look they already got down to half health Maybe it's honestly better to save your Himiko ult for the... Okay, yeah, what I would probably change is instead of using my Himiko ult in the first wave straight away, uh, I probably would have taken out, because two branches spawned in, I probably should have used Zila and then a Resurgence on them. But you know what? It's fine. We should be able to get through this anyway. I mean, as you can see, this team just absolutely destroys the first couple of bits. It's just a case of staying alive when it's uh, time for the DR, which can be a bit of a struggle sometimes, but... I think we should be fine. Luckily, she didn't hit Herta, although our Herta is now in the red. Uh, the good thing about Pure Fiction is, you know, you are allowed to die sometimes, which 
is a bit underrated when it comes to how useful it is. Now, um, okay, I could skill on the twig and then basic the dare or no, because actually, um, yeah, I'm more confident in this because that will give us an extra skill point and now we can just deal as much damage to there as possible. Although, actually, I'm not sure if it gives us more points if we were to take down one of the branches, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, you guys can probably clear, like, way better than I can. Just because this is actually, like, one of my first tries for this run. So, um, yeah, like I said, I'm sure you guys can do better than I can. Since we have quite a few skill points, we can't afford to skill there. It is unfortunate that we don't kill. Um, I didn't look at the damage number. Maybe we didn't crit. I am not too sure. Uh, we are at 56k, though. Now, since we break this guy, he will not be hitting us. And now we can actually save our ult here, because what's going to happen is, I believe, it's the wave after this when a, basically every single one which spawns is going to be a fire, but then at the same time, I don't want to take any hits. So actually, I am going to give up on that. What I'm going to prioritize is making sure my heart to survive so I can use one more skill on her, maybe even an ult. No, unfortunately not. Although luckily, these guys didn't get that counter up, so actually we did not misplay there. Um, and okay, we're already at 59.3k. The dare doesn't go, although this unfortunately won't give us another turn on our Hertha. I believe our Hertha will be dying, unfortunately. And okay, you know what? At least she managed to get her follow up off one more time. And there she goes. RIP Hertha. Oh, but we already have 30, uh, 60k. Okay, nice. So even with our Hertha dying and us not playing optimally, we were able to hit 60k. So we've already got over 31k. I am curious to see how much we will end up getting. Uh, I mean, Himiko's probably dying soon. Um, actually, no, what we can do... Uh, we're not going to have our one may skill if I do that. Oh, well, it's too bad. Um, yeah, like I said, quite a few misplays here. Honestly, could have played it a bit better, but uh, you know what? I have seen worse, probably. And, ooh, actually, because we don't have Ruan May... Oh, you know what? Actually, getting Ruan's May, Ruan May skill up and then normal attacking on Zeta would have been the better play to do. Um, oh, well, uh, that is too bad. Yeah, we probably could have gotten a minimum 61k there. Oh, actually, we will be able to with the uh, Zeta ult anyway. Now, I might as well just guarantee myself a kill here since we're not going to have enough SP for the Resurgence anyway. And then just whack... And 60.9k, and we got a 31k clear. Now, like I said, if I'm being completely honest, um, you guys can probably do a better clear than I did. I feel like 32 to 35 should be easily doable with a Zeal build like mine. Uh, um, the entire team build, as well as my Zealas and Blades, will be at the end of the video. So, yeah, but with that being said, I'd say this was a pretty decent clear, and it is on to the Blade Run now. All right, and here we are with our Blade Run. Now, uh, I did have to retry because our Hertha was getting absolutely targeted, but uh, anyway, this time we got 28k on the first half, so we will need 32k for this half. But honestly, I'm pretty confident in this. Um, as you can see, our Blades technique is basically gonna lead to this entire first wave getting destroyed, just because it will proc all of the follow-up attacks. And there we go, and Ron may get her skill up. Um, okay, they're targeting Blade, this is good, this is good. Oh, I thought everyone was about to target Blade. That would have been so good, but oh well, it is fine. Either way, not too mad about it. Now, um, obviously our Blade's action was delayed a lot, which is gonna be annoying, but you know what? Uh, it's not the worst thing in the world to happen. If he does get hit one more time, obviously his follow-up will proc, which would be a nice addition to our damage. Now, our SP will allow us to go for a Hurter skill. The question is, do I want to save my ult? Probably not. I honestly, it's probably better to get this wave out um, as quick as possible. And then, oop, okay, that's unfortunate. I would have rather if we went for blade, but at the same time, it's not the end of the world. Um, I mean, we all we can really do here is basic attack anyway. But uh, our skilling here will allow us to proc our follow up. And there goes Hertha doing 169k. Thank you very much. And we still have... Oh, okay. You sure, Himiko? Go ahead. 
Now the good thing is we will have her ult up for the deer. Now unfortunately we don't have our Zilla to clear all the quantum in the deer. If I'm being honest, most of Blade's use was already used up in the first wave with all the win weakness. Although once again the good thing is he is a destruction unit. So I mean first of all his damage and self sustain is very good. And then obviously he will be able to taunt the enemies. Which will help us out a lot when it comes to survivability, at least I think so. Um, I wonder if any of our units are going to die like they did um, in the first run we did. But anyways, uh, we can just go for a quick ult on our Herta here. Um, luckily the counter isn't up on the enemies yet, so we will not be getting punished for it. Uh, ooh, I am just realizing now that we are gonna... Okay, okay, ooh, we actually managed to get all four with our Himiko ult, which is nice. And especially important because our uh, skill on uh, Ronmei is about to expire, and I did not take that into account. So, um, once again, a bit of a misplay from me, but, I mean, I guess what else would you expect? Because most of the things I do are scuffed either way. Now, I mean, the one positive, I guess, is the fact that... Um, this will break the deer, and the freeze will obviously delay his action a bit. And, I mean, we are, I am just going to go straight down the middle here, because this will mean our blade will get hit, which is nice for him. And I can just break this guy basically either way, just because of our follow-up earlier. So, us not having our one may skill won't punish our break, only our damage. Although now, once again, we do have no SP, so I am just going to have to hit a, a random twig, basically. And, I mean, it makes no difference, realistically speaking. So, uh, yeah, now we are going to need to skill on our Ronmei to get our buff back up. Unfortunately, we are just off of her uh, ult. It was like 5 SP difference if she had gotten hit. It would have been nice, but you know what? It is what it is. Um, now, Blade, Blade, Blade. Okay... Will I survive a hit from both of you guys? You know what? I'm just gonna use my ulti heal in the meantime. Oh, never mind. Okay, luckily our follow-up attack gets priority. It did. A, it dealt a nice 89k there, and I am maybe it would actually be better if I was on Inert rather than Rutilant Arena. Normally, you do play Blade on um, Rutilant since he does a lot of basic attacks when you play him with Bronya. But I mean, in this situation, maybe Inert would have been better. I actually did consider making the change, but then I decided I was. Way too lazy. Anyway, um, okay, we're probably gonna, gonna get hit a bit by the twigs, but honestly, we should be fine. We break one of them anyway. And, okay, Blade gets hit, which is nice. That is a less nice. Oh god, our Hertha is taking a lot of damage. Um, not good. I mean, the bright side is we only need about 5k more points. Um... Again, uh, Blade should survive this hit, and it will actually let me heal, which, once again, is nice. 100k on our Blade. Once again, Jade who? All I'm seeing is that Blade is... It, I mean, I think if you... A lot of people are saying if you have Blade, you should pull for Jade. I I would actually take the opinion if you have Blade, you don't need Jade. Um, rhymes, which is very nice, but uh, yeah, that is my honest opinion. I feel like Jade is a pretty low-value unit, although, then again... If you struggle in Pure Fiction and you just want to basically guarantee clear every single Pure Fiction, then I suppose that would be her biggest use. Okay, and now we shouldn't get stabbed by any of the Vines because none of them have put their counter up yet. And we get to 59k and we get to destroy three of the Vines with our Himiko, which will once, which will then proc a Herta, which there we go, 58k. I mean, obviously the follow-ups are pretty decent. Okay, 142k there, that's nice. And we can actually break the deer here, which, once again, nice because freeze, delay his action, and then Ruan May will delay his action even more, so I don't think we have to worry about him again. And most of our characters survive to the end, and I mean, we're already on 62k. This is actually a very good clear. It's actually better than the Zila clear, so you know what? Blade, without Jade, did actually pretty good. And if I'm being honest, I've actually been able to clear most of the previous Pure Fictions, with Blade, even though he's not the main carry, he's just a really useful unit just by helping your other unit survive. And I mean, yeah, man, Blade's Blade's been pretty good. Nothing else spawned. Um, how much? Okay, we got 63.7k clear, and we got 35k clear on the, on the second node. I mean, Zilla was 31k, and then we hit 35k with our Blade. So um, yeah, as you can tell, Blade is actually quite good in pure fiction. 
So uh, yeah, that being said, I will just give my overall thoughts in the outro and then we'll move on to the character build. And yeah, that will be it for the video. So I will see you guys in a second. Well then, as you can see, our Blade and Zila managed to do quite well for themselves. We were able to get over 30k on both the clears. And I know some of you guys will say, yeah, that's mostly because Hurt and Himiko, and you're not wrong, but because Hurt and Himiko exist, in my humble opinion, you don't really need Jade. You can play a dot, I mean, if you don't have a dot team, then maybe I can see why you would go Jade, that is probably fair. Then you could do like a Blade, Jade, first half team, and then like a Hurt and Himiko, second half team, and you should never have a problem in Pure Fiction. But I feel like because Jade's weaker in Memory of Chaos and in Apocalyptic Shadow, you are better off just building a dot team and then a uh, Hata Himiko team. But at the same time, pull for who you want. If you really like Jade as a character, you might as well pull her. Me personally, since I'm an F2P, so I am saving for future units rather than her. But if you like a character and you think she'll be useful for your account, you know, just go for it. Who cares? It's your account. You can do whatever you want. But uh, yeah, for those of you, if you're wondering, do you need Jade? The answer is very much no. But with that being said, uh, when it comes to our character builds, our blade here is on 138 speed with the 54 crit. But because of the longevous set, this is actually 70. So it's a 71-57 crit ratio. Uh, he does have 6.3k HP. We are on Seeker Vow only S2, unfortunately. Uh, but you know what? It is what it is. And then, you know, this is just how our relics are looking, HP, Sphere, and Rope. And then uh, E0. As for our Zila, she is on the Hurt Store icon, 70, 70 crit, but this, this will go up to 86. 70 is important because she is on Rutilant, same thing for um, Blade. 121 speed, but then she does give herself a 25% speed boost, and she does also get the 10% from Ruan Mei. So she is actually quite fast and is getting quite a lot of turns. Uh, attack 3k um this is because we are on attack boots and then you know just oh don't want to talk about it but then this is our rope and then our boots chest and hands and there and then when it comes to our hata and himiko you know just decent speed on both trying to get decent stats uh himiko is on the f2p icon because um the five star will give hata more survivability which she lacks a bit as a four star because obviously they have lower base stats. Trace is mostly leveled up, just missing a few which are lower priority, but you know, resources are limited on the follow-up set and on the Sigonia set. And E0, then our Herta E6, because you know, simulated universe, 84 crit rate to 110 crit damage on um, Himiko's Light Cone. And then Trace is once again mostly leveled up, two piece ice, two piece attack, because I don't have enough for a second follow-up set. And again on the Sigonia set, and like I said, E6, and then when it comes to our Ruan Mei, on 148 speed, uh, 149 break effect, this should go up to 169. Obviously not the 180, which you would want ideally, but you know what? Gets the job done. Pure Fiction isn't the biggest DPS check. It is just nice that she can help us with our weakness break efficiency, as well as, um, sorry, our weakness break efficiency, as well as our, just boosting our damage a bit. Like I said, you don't need the most damage in Pure Fiction, you just need a decent amount. But uh, yeah, as you can see, those are our character builds fully. Uh, e zero S0 on our carries, and I mean, pretty relatable builds, I think, on most of our characters. But with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know, what do you think about Jade? Have you pulled her, have you not? And with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like and subscribe and comment on the video because it will help out the channel immensely. And with that being said, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.